We present a 57-year-old um, uh, patient who underwent uh, removal of uh, uh, hemolock uh, clips migrating into his uh, uh, scooter neobladder 18 months after uh, the uh, completion of the neobladder. Uh, here we can see as the uh, we're attempting to uh, cut the hemolock clips uh, with the uh, bipolar current but uh, we're, we're being unsuccessful because the uh, loop is not really active enough, it's not incandescent enough. Um, as soon as we, uh, uh, the so-called ring of fire, uh, so the coupling of the two uh, electrodes happens, then the, uh, um, the you know, loop cuts very easily through the uh, uh, hard clip. Uh, we can see it now as we can piecemeal the uh, uh, clips, uh, fragment them, and then remove them uh, in, um, in uh, little uh, pieces. Uh, it has to be said that this is a potentially expensive uh, procedure since the, uh, the uh, loops tend to break easily, uh, probably uh, because of the excessive uh, uh, traction applied to to the clip, uh, to, to, the, to the loop itself, uh, while attempting to cut the clip. Uh, in this particular case, we removed, we were able to remove in one session seven clips, uh, they all migrated uh, to the bladder, but we had to use uh, five uh, uh, new loops. Uh, however, the, uh, at the end of the procedure, we can see that uh, there's only one uh, little piece left of the clip and then uh, uh, and the uh, procedure will be given as uneventful.